oh, if he's looking at the camera feed, dude, and he sees Foxy just going like this. Some people would call me Markiplier 2.0, so I know a thing or two about FNAF, okay? I know a thing or two about FNAF. I know enough knowledge to put Matt Pat to shame. <laughs> The new teaser came out for the new FNAF movie, and we are about to raw dog our way through that reaction just now. And then right after that, we'll go into the more analytical side of things with this Five Nights at Freddy's teaser, but let's hop right into it. I'm actually very excited about this, uh, about this teaser. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, where fantasy and fun come to life. Hit it, guys. Oh, boy. Oh boy. If you're watching this video, it means you've been selected as Freddy's. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. We'll be looking at the Five Nights at Freddy's official teaser. Hello? We're going to have so much fun together. <laughs> Jesus, what the? Whoa, wait. Not the ball pit. Okay, all right, so a couple things here, a couple things that I- Oh, whoa, hello, Ludwig, how you doing there? I didn't know you were part of the movie. I didn't notice a lot there. I don't know what this guy is going to notice because this is 11 minutes of, like, analysis. Finally, Five Nights at Freddy fans, we have an actual teaser trailer for a movie that was- And I'm Markiplier, I know everything, man. I played all the games. ...announced about eight years ago. Oh, it is a glorious day to be a FNAF fan. I need you to hit that like button to celebrate because what we're gonna be doing here is analyzing the first teaser trailer for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I'll also be diving into the new posters that they just released for the film. In fact, I was doing a whole separate video on those because I was not expecting the full teaser trailer to come out today. I'll be diving into all that here, but it's not just gonna be about my opinion. I need to hear from you Five Nights at Freddy movie fans. What do you think about this first mm. teaser trailer? I know some people were we're hoping it was the full two minute 20 second trailer that leaked a couple weeks back let them build up hype okay i like that they're trying to re yeah this this is the type of guy to know exactly what the movie is about like where the story is going to go who all the characters are before the movie even plays he gained what they lost with that leaked trailer all right so the first thing we got to dive into here today is the heart attack that happened to me when jason blum tweeted three as you know, he is the head of Blumhouse, and whenever this boy tweets, he just gets bombarded with messages about Five Nights at Freddy's, regardless to what it's about. He could have announced his grandmama died, and people would have been like, sucks, but when's that Freddy trailer coming out, Blum? <laughs> Damn. so heartless when we want things. I would do the same. But it was, of course, our first official poster with all of the characters round up together in one. Here you go, looking at it now. I still wish all of their eyes were like white, like glowing white, because it looks like they're all faded. They're all in Yodi land right now. Five nights at Yodi land. That's what this is. With the tagline, can you survive five nights at Freddy's? With the release date of October 27th <laughs> of this year. <laughs> can you survive being greened out? Can you survive ego death? Here pretty snazzy poster okay in my honest opinion wasn't exactly what i was expecting i do like the purple hue although i associate animatronics and purple hue more with willie's wonderland gotta admit that poster was pretty fire but here this still yeah there's a good great. comparison between the two lined up a lot of fans have mentioned that this is pretty reminiscent to the second fnaf games lineup here you even have freddy bonnie and chica so they have that same lineup there but these appear to be the actual physical animatronic suits and they just kind of really drown them in maybe some visual effects photoshopness making it look almost fan made because that yeah. seems to be the biggest complaint amongst fans. honestly Honestly, I feel like I can make a better, like, animation, if I'm being real. I haven't seen the movie yet, but just by seeing, like, what's there, I'd make everything immediately dark. Immediately dark. And I'd... Oh! There's just so much that you can do with, like, the animatronics, man. I'd, I'd make it so well, but I don't know a thing about 3D, like, 
modeling in terms of making a scene in a full video in Blender? And is that this but just, just like my ideas, man. Online to Kane Pixels, make it. Facebook timeline. So for the most part, I would say the community I'll pay you a, a poster, stick of gum a and pocket of change. That find them to be looking a little cheap. I think maybe they could have done something better. But I mean, this is kind of what we should be expecting with the FNAF movie. It's going to have that semi-cheap feel. Not really a bad thing, but that's just the route they've decided to go with the movie to make it more profitable so it could earn a lot more money. And True. that way it can survive being released in theaters and on streaming the same. People we're about to get clickbaited in way. real Let's life with this movie. The teaser trailer here and break it down. I'm I praying it's good. Trailer reaction. If you're curious about that, I posted it on my YouTube Shorts, so you can find that on my channel page there. If not, I also posted it on TikTok. <gasps> oh, trailer reaction. <gasps> <laughs> but as far as things go i gotta check that trailer, out it was only 45 seconds long and honestly i liked it it did what it needed to for me build up that little hype and anticipation i like the bits of footage they decided to reveal we don't know too much about the plot yeah but there was enough in here to get us really salivating and speculating what they might be changing from the games mm. so to start things off here we are greeted with an old school employee video training the security guard for five nights of freddy's now the interesting thing you'll know about this training video is it was supposed to be supplied when the Freddy Fazbear Diner was actually open to the public because in modern day once the movie begins the place will be closed down and not open to the public here which is why we get this shot of the closed sign and the place looking all worn and torn down okay so this training video is just like a nice visual aid to let you know that at one point this place was bumping <laughs> until a certain incident you're going to die, pretty much. You're going to die if you don't survive the night. You know, don't worry about it. Nah, they're all friendly. <laughs> yeah. It happens that causes the place to be no longer functional. All of us believing it's going to be the famous bite in the 80s where a kid got killed by one of the animatronics and probably a bunch of other kids that went missing. The bite of 87? <laughs> I do think they kind of got the aesthetic down of what it looks like. Is that the bite of 87? <laughs> like in terms of the games and now in live action form there's something about seeing those animatronics on the actual stage actually moving about when we've seen that in video game form for so long bro if you don't like this video now i'm about to commit the bite of 83 like you better lock your doors tonight long it's just kind of satisfying bring us now to the first bit of footage of josh hutcherson as mike schmidt working as the security guard i'm assuming making sure the animatronics don't leave the place and also that people don't come inside because the owner of the pizzeria knows they will not be coming out alive here but before we get into that we do got to analyze this place a little Oof. bit here i do kind of like the stained glass window of chica right here with her cupcake that's cute i've already mentioned the how setting the isn't bad at all look a lot like the game but you also notice a bunch of the kid drawings on the walls that was something that was very apparent in the five nights of freddy games aside from that we see that he's maybe hearing noises in a place that's oh okay first look at the animatronics okay if the eyes didn't turn red and the head just went and like snapped his direction i would flip holy dude i don't like that I'm just I'm just picturing it now. That's why I'm saying there's so much potential for this. I wish if the movie is ass, okay, God forbid the movie's ass. Everyone's gonna be up my ass for it. Okay, but like uh <laughs> But like I I'd love to make like a good representation of like the potential this movie could like be supposed to be completely abandoned causing mike to peek behind the curtain where we get of course the animatronics in their place i don't First, like that peek at bonnie moving on to freddy and then kind of glaring at chica's cupcake the next big easter eggs here that were pretty exciting to finally see in live action form is the security room where you as the player were usually monitoring the cameras Ooh. making sure none of the animatronics were moving oh. a lot of these camera angles actually oh. match that of the game and i thought that was pretty cool of them to include that it's that satisfying feeling that we knew we would eventually see this oh. live action but we didn't oh man if like in the movie if in the movie he's looking at like the we're moving if he's looking at the camera feed oh if he's looking at the camera feed dude and he sees foxy just going like this i'd 
log out dude a lot of these camera angles actually match that of the game and i thought that was pretty cool of them to include that it's that satisfying feeling that we knew we would eventually see this in live action but we didn't think it would look this faithful it's not even you want to see me run in a marathon Honestly, I'd run in a marathon if Foxy was chasing me. And just the camera angles that are very faithful, even some of the posters on the wall match that of what you would see in the security room down to the dang fan. A lot of these details mean a lot to the fans and get them excited. General audiences are just gonna think, oh, that's a regular poster to Five Nights at Freddy fans. They're like, the poster. I unintentionally find this little <laughs> moment kind of funny where we see Mike just kind of look around and Freddy just kind of peeks off to the side. There have been in so many Matt Pat sees a a paper plate on a table <laughs> let's go memes over the years with freddy fazbear it's kind of hard to take him seriously now as an actual threat but man do they tease some actual threatening moments in here speaking of which this one here of mike schmidt getting strapped down to a chair mechanically how does he escape the inside that of an animatronic suit has been fitted to kind of kill him it's hard to tell from the inside of this animatronic which one it's supposed to be but this is something that kind of happens in the games it's you usually cannot escape that scooped when the sister location games Ooh. those animatronics there were kind of built to purposely scoop inside a person and kill them within the animatronic oh, that feels a little yeah. bit of what's going on here and that's kind of a messed up situation but it makes you wonder you know getting who created scooped. this this definitely feels like a william afton invention we also get some shots here of abby a new vital character abby. into this movie that's going to be the little why is she there Mike schmidt from an official plot synopsis we found out that abby is going to be taken to work with mike because he's just low on options he doesn't have anybody to babysit her so he decides just to take her to work with him and i know a lot of people were like going crazy thinking why would he want to do that he's so crazy really think about that you get a job at what's mm. essentially a chuck e cheese place that's like a True. fun palace for a kid why wouldn't True. you bring a little brother they wouldn't know anything ahead of time mess around in the ball pit while i do my job that that's like a big brother award but he obviously doesn't know there's killer animatronics in there. But based on the official photo that's released, it looks like she's oh, wait, what? Form a very special bond with Freddy Fazbear and the other animatronics, being that they're the <laughs> souls of dead ch This is my dog. He doesn't bite. He doesn't bite, okay? He doesn't bite. Don't worry about it. He doesn't bite. This is my new dog. His name is Freddy Fazbear. He's a dog, though. Don't worry about him. Children, they might look favorably into Abby and want to protect her, or heck, they might want to make her one of them and put her inside one of the animatronics. Another new character that really wasn't in the first couple of Five Nights at Freddy games is Vanessa. She's going to be playing a police officer. A lot of us wait think a minute, some sort of version a of security Vanessa breach. Security breach. When it looks exactly. like she will just be the person to inform Mike of the Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria and why it's not as innocent as it seems. One really interesting mm. shot we get here is of Mike in the woods with a bunch of children these most likely will be the dead kids that are haunting the animatronics if you look at the one with bunny ears that's most likely going to be bunny oh. we have here a kid in an orange shirt with a hook hand that's going to be foxy since foxy usually has his hook hand i'm going to assume the little girl over here wearing yellow is going to be chica as that well, is I mean, just it, a matching color scheme yeah it's brown over here it's kind of like self-explanatory. Like you don't need to have a uh, degree in rocket science to figure out which one's going to be which. Most likely Freddy Fazbear. And then that's kind of where it leaves us up to who this other kid could be. Your guess is as good as mine, but in the Five Nights at Freddy's game lore, Mike usually has a younger brother where he has a traumatic pass with. In the games, it was him accidentally Golden getting his Freddy? brother killed by jokingly putting him in the mouth of an animatronic that crushed his head. The Biden Predictions. We're Predictions. We're not sure if they're going to do that exact same storyline or maybe something different. Heck, fans don't even know if they're going to play up the whole family family angle and make Mike Schmidt related to William Afton in this movie. And well, speaking of William Afton, finally in the flesh, our purple guy who is no longer purple, the main antagonist what if he turns purple behind 
Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Matthew Lillard playing William Afton, the co-owner of Freddy Fazbear's. He's most likely going to be the one hiring Mike, purposely giving him a crappy job that he knows is most likely gonna make him end up dead. We get a different shot here of no. another security guard that looks like he's about to become dead meat. I feel like this could be one of the openings of the movie or an explanation yeah, that to definitely why can the be an opening. job position is open. For all we know, William Afton could be specifically- Would you take the security job like knowing everything like would you try like what would you try to win like what do you get do i get a prize do i get the, like the good like jingle when i complete the night picking low lights with not much family or anything to lose because he knows if so i'm, I'm down man sign me up nobody will come looking for them but i'm definitely intrigued to see how the movie's gonna handle the william afton side of things from here we get another cool shot of what i'm thinking are maybe foxy's feet but these who in their right mind would i would okay with my 12 gauge shotgun and my ar-15 with five five six rounds could also just be the skeleton of the <laughs> the animatronics being that's what they look like outside of the fuzzy suits where abby is hiding in the ball pit one thing i definitely want to talk about that was a major choice in this movie is giving the animatronic i don't like that eyes. i don't I'm like not that the biggest fan of it here now in the games there have been some instances where the animatronics are rocking red eyes but for the most part it's not a common thing with them like to withered me, it just nightmare feels like stereotypical cliche thing. god dude Dude, if they chose that, if they chose that, if they chose like the the withered Foxy, the the Nightmare Freddy like designs, you know what I mean from that game? Oh, evil robotic animatronics. Let's make their eyes glow red so it's obvious to the audience that they're bad right now. I'm like, ah, do we really need to do that? <laughs> they did that with the Child's Play reboot, having his eyes glow red as an evil AI. I don't think it's super needed. I've seen a lot of people mention it just makes them look stoned and- Yeah, dude, Five Nights at Yodi Land. I called it, man. I kind of agree. But again, it's not that big of a deal breaker. It's just a small thing I wish they didn't include. I have seen some people mention that they feel the suits look cheap and i'm just like guys that's the world we live in now you have gotten so used to cgi things that now when you see practical real effects because these were made by the jim henson corporation now you kind of wanted mm. a full cgi robot so we could add in that detail and movement I'm i actually feel very like happy they could have the done they a better look. job but yeah it's gonna look but it's cheap. okay you gotta remember these are the same type of puppets you would get at your cheap family diner. We're not gonna look super spiffy moving around. I'm happy with the way these look. Overall though, that is the teaser trailer here. I'm happy with it just being a teaser now. I'm glad they didn't rush that whole two minute, 20 second trailer. Would have been showing too much True. too fast. I wanna True. know from you guys. I like the little like, like they're edging the fan base. They're edging the fan base. Like, oh, you wanted the movie? Here you go. It's like, 10 seconds at a time till two minutes.